What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Are you looking for a microphone that plugs directly into your iPhone? Well, I was, and that's because when I like to podcast, I don't always record the video with it, and I really like being able to do it right on my phone, anywhere on the road, it's just set it up, a microphone at a table or at a desk, and talk to people who are just going to capture my thoughts on audio, and what I really wanted was a decent sounding mic, and so I found this, it's an iRig Mic Studio, digital studio microphone, and it looks like kind of the microphones that I'm used to, but what makes this one most interesting, you can use adapters to certainly plug into microphones, or to the iPhones, but it's appeared at least advertised to come with a lightning cable to plug directly into it. So I like the idea that it was going to be that compatible right out of the box. Not sure what this is. Looks like this is instruction booklets and uh, registering it. And then here is the microphone itself. It was pretty cool, and I wasn't sure based on the the pictures that it had, but it does come with a tripod base, which is awesome. These are actually pretty nice. You can see it screws in there. We have metal legs here and little polymer plastic uh, ball feet so you get a nice little tripod then the, the microphone screws into here this is all aluminum hardware i believe and then you can tighten this down so what do you call it keratoid you know the microphone actually is not going to be pointed to you the 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 speaker is kind of facing you so you're kind of talking to it kind of a little like an old school microphone but you can see you can tighten it down there so i love the fact that it comes with that wasn't sure if it was going to be boom mounted or something. And here is the uh, uh, Studio iRig microphone, and it's nice. It kind of looks like any kind of high-end microphone. We've got the cage up here. You can see the microphone receiver in there. You're going to see it silvery behind the screen. And then you have a headphone jack right there, so you can plug in some headphones, make sure that the audio sounds like you'd expect it to. Uh, on the bottom here, we have the threading where it'll thread into the tripod. Looks like we have a micro USB plug right there. So that's the cable that will input into it. And then here are the controls. Looks like we have a headphone volume knob here, I'm assuming. Yep, it's pretty shallow. It's a little hard to, to grab, but that's okay. And then we have another one, which is also pretty shallow. I guess you're kind of just put your thumb on them and turn them instead of kind of grabbing them. And this, I think, is for gain on the audio. It looks like we have a little light there, so it should indicate when it has power. As you can see, not the biggest thing in the world, but definitely it's kind of more true microphone size than a lot of the smaller ones. Or looks like we have a little carrying case here, so I can record things when I'm on vacation, give you some of my thoughts about uh, stuff that's coming out. And we have another box right here. And I'm not sure what we get in here, but obviously some goodies. And I'm assuming all the cableage that we need, we get micro USB to lightning. And this is the one I'm wanting. And then Yahtzee. And then it looks like micro USB here. I don't know if you can see that end. To regular USB A. And then we also have another one here, micro USB on this end out to micro USB on that end. So I don't need that one and just need the iPhone one. So I'm really curious now if this will plug and play to my uh, iPhone here directly. So I'm just gonna assemble everything and then we will try to record some audio with this microphone and see if it works. All right guys, I've been playing around with this microphone and it's kind of cool. A couple things I don't wanna show you. I'm actually uh, plugged into the iPhone directly here and recording off the iPhone on the mic and the cool thing is it's getting enough power, as you might be able to see here, from the iPhone to light up this light. Now it's showing green. Now if I play with this gain here, turn that up, you can see that it flashes red sometimes. So basically what it's kind of doing is telling you, I'm going to turn it back to the center here, is what it's telling you is that uh, the blue light indicates that it's kind of not picking up really anything usable. Let's just say it's kind of just picking up ambient noise. And then when you talk into it, it flashes green, kind of saying you're in that right volume range. But if you really scream into it, you'll notice that it goes orange or red. And that's kind of saying, hey, we're, we're peaking here a little bit. So I like that you're getting those visual cues so that you can kind of dial in the gain on the microphone itself. I've never had another microphone with that 
uh, LED kind of indicated on the microphone. So that is really, really awesome. And again, like I said, more than anything, I'm just amazed that it's getting enough power out of the iPhone to do it. Now, I am talking directly into this. I love the fact that it's only about eight inches tall, nice and small. I can certainly even pack it up so that I can take it with me. So that's pretty cool. Now you can judge the audio quality. It's only about a foot away from my face at the moment. And I'm kind of just talking my normal voice, but we're definitely talking into it. And I want to prove that to you because I was really wondering, is it even working just with the standard camera app, the, the included, the native app on the iPhone? Uh, it was just plug and play. And I'm going to turn around here and continue to talk into my microphone and just prove to you that this is what's actually picking it up. So if I turn away here and just continue to talk to you in the microphone, uh, hopefully you're not hearing any type of... Uh, audio change because this should be the pickup for it and in fact you know i'm seeing it kind of peak a little bit to that yellow to that orange so um i think maybe i was peaking a little bit there but that is really cool now i haven't used the headphones part of it yet you know for me if it's really just recording the audio doing a podcast episode being able to do that on the road uh doing it just with my iphone pretty awesome but even still if i wanted to shoot video i just love the fact that it's plugged in here i could do that and really have kind of a good audio setup you know for your sake as opposed to just using the built-in mics which aren't always great this is pretty cool i rig mic studio as you can see plug and play with iphone as far as i can tell and I will say these things aren't cheap. They're about a hundred bucks, but I felt like that was an investment I was willing to make for your benefit. Cause I love ya. Do you love me? So check it out. If you want to pick one of these up too, whether you use an iPhone or something else, USB to a computer or um, micro USB to an Android device, I think you can all benefit from it. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.